Okay, so that was... Ow! Oh, oh. Let's spill some tea. Hi, this is Editing Ash right now. I'm sorry, I look like an Oompa Loompa, but I just want to apologize for all of the background noise that is definitely going to happen in this video. I don't know what's happened with my mic, but um, sorry, nothing I could do to fix it. So just deal with it for the video, it's fine. Um, yeah, all right, bye. Hi friends, it's Ash. Welcome back to a new video on my channel. Today I wanted to do another Q&A because the last one I filmed was really fun to film and this time I wanted to talk more about social life and just like relationships and friendships because obviously everyone de deals with that and especially teenagers. Teenagers go through some rough shit with friendships and relationships. So I thought I would just address any of your questions and talk on my personal experience because whew, I got a lot with that. So let's just get on into it. I feel like I don't have any friends anymore and I feel so alone, what do I do? Oof, fam. <laughs> That's gonna be me for every single one of these. I'm just gonna be like, oof. Um, no, but for real, like, just know first of all that you're never alone because even even if like everyone steps out of your life you still have yourself and that's something i had to learn the hard way it's just like at the end of the day you're always gonna have yourself so learn to love yourself also just know that everything happens for a reason the universe has really weird sometimes very questionable ways of making things happen for you so think of it as like if you're losing friends, you're probably just making room for better ones. Okay, next question. How to cope with losing a friend? Well, that's kind of the same thing as what I said before. Just like, take time for yourself and just like learn to, learn to love who you are and realize that you can be your own best friend and just realize that you're gonna meet newer, better people that are gonna be there for you so don't lose hope you lost one friend but you're gonna make so many more in the future worst breakup story okay this obviously came from someone that doesn't know me very well because if you did you would know that i only have one breakup story and it wasn't terrible i mean i'm not gonna go into the gory details of that because that's dead and buried but we weren't on the same page anymore so we decided to split and yeah, so like the nature of the breakup itself wasn't bad, it was just everything that happened after. Okay, the next question is how do I find a girlfriend or just a significant other in general? Um, I'm a strong believer that you can't just like go out and actively look for someone. Like, I think just things happen naturally. Personally, I just believe that the universe has its weird ways of bringing someone to you that like will really mean a lot to you and will be a good fit for you the best advice i could give to this person is to just let it happen naturally don't even think about it because the best relationships are the one you least expect the next question is how do i get over a breakup oh i'm really i'm really a, a bad person to ask for this advice because i've only been through one and i did not handle it that great i guess what i could say is just let yourself feel feel that you know go through the motions because keeping it in and just pretending it didn't happen is a lot worse but don't do what i did where i didn't hold back because that's that's not fun but yeah, just like, again, realize that you split for a reason, that person probably wasn't the best fit for you, and you're gonna find someone better. So yeah. Next question is, can you stay friends with an ex? Okay, okay, okay. I tried doing this. Um, here's the thing. Yes, you can, but you need to learn how to 
drop all of the emotions you felt for them before you broke up because like that a friendship just isn't gonna work if you know you still feel romantic feelings for each other and that was basically what happened with me my breakup situation was that we were still like we still had feelings for each other when we broke up and it was just way too overwhelming to try to keep those emotions at bay and just be friends it was just it was too hard and it was a lot of pain so yes you can stay friends with an ex but i feel like you should give yourself time first to just process it you know maybe take a step back from that person for just a little bit and let yourself just get over it <laughs> how to cut out toxic people yeah this is a rough one <laughs> um admitting that they're toxic is already a big step but um i would also say that like i okay i'm a strong believer that communication is really important with any type of relationship so even if you are trying to cut this person out i think you should explain to them like you shouldn't just ghost them like that's shit and no one wants that to happen to them so you need to talk to that person and just be like listen you don't serve me any purpose of making me happy anymore you make me feel bad about myself or just like whatever's going wrong just be like you're toxic and i don't think this can work out if they have a little sliver of human decency then they'll have to understand but yeah that's just what i would do and then just phase them out of your life it's what you got to do sometimes it's the reality this next question is what was the most toxic situation you've been in and this is oh my god this is gonna spill so much tea but i'm gonna try and not do that because i don't want to expose people that don't want to be exposed the most toxic situation i would say i was in was oh i don't want to do because like people that watch my videos know exactly who this is about but I think a really bad situation that I was in was going through that period of just like trying to handle my emotions from my ex while seeing him and my best friend get closer. Um, there is so much drama with that, but and I won't go into it. But basically, like when you're trying to when you're trying to heal from a breakup and then you see someone that you really trust with that person that you're you're trying to heal from it's just hard <laughs> and i like i'm cringing right now because i really don't want to give away too much because that's like personal it's just like in the past and i don't want to open that can of worms but yeah just like trying to trying to heal from my breakup and then at the same time seeing my best friend with my ex was just <sighs> Oof, big oof, big oof. <laughs> okay, next question. Things are different between my BFF and I, and I don't know what to do or if I did something wrong. Okay, like I said before, communication is so important, and if you feel like that, then you need to talk to this person because you can't just, you know, keep it inside and hold hope that something within them changes because nothing like nothing's gonna happen if they don't know what's happening you know what i mean and you know sometimes sometimes it will be some things that you did and you have to be able to accept that and respect their side and see what you can do to fix it if you want a relationship to continue you need to continue communicating with each other because if you don't then things are just gonna get worse and for no re no good reason because you could have just solved this with a little communication this is my last question and it's do you miss your friends who graduated last year and this came from a friend that graduated last year so i think i have to say yes it's still true i miss you guys so much and you guys were like the older sisters i never had so it's weird that you guys aren't here it's fine i'm sure you're all living it up in college and soon enough i will be too Okay, so that was all of the questions that I will be responding to today. Thank you guys so much for sending stuff in because again, I rarely ever do this because I feel like I'll only get three answers, but I'm glad that I got to talk a little bit about, you know, 
something that's really prominent in all of our lives. Thank you guys so much for watching again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!